One of the most poignant moments of last season came at the Portugal Masters. You know, it's one of those moments where you're not even thinking of making it. Really, I was truly, you know, just begging myself to two pass. But if this one goes in, he's likely to be second on his own here. To watch it go up over here and go in, especially with the whole feeling of, you know, I had a feeling that my mum was with me a lot on that last day. And uh, one of the last things I said to myself with the pad, I said, come on, mum, just two more putts and we can get this job done. And uh, she did one better for me, and uh, we made it somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Was, I don't know how long it was, but it was a long way, and under the circumstances, and what I was feeling and dealing with, uh, the release of uh, joy and pressure and all the emotions kind of collapsed in one afterwards, and uh, what a stage to do it on. He may have let everything out at the end, but the way the 33-year-old South African held it all together at the 18th was remarkable. His mother had died just two weeks earlier, and he was faced with a 50-foot putt with his tour card on the line. I think the pressure of trying to win a tournament is, is hard, but at least you, they're trying to win an event. Uh, the pressure of you know, trying to make a cut, you know, coming down the stretch on the Friday is also difficult, but the weekend and week out pressure of trying to keep your card, um, especially in your rookie year, is probably the hardest thing I've gone through. If you could just take one step back, Sometimes you can, you know, really take the pressure off, and that's what I was able to do. And uh, I produced some golf that I haven't done under that kind of circumstance and on that stage ever before, and it was, a, it was quite a breakthrough moment for me. Walters has pushed on since and is embarking on his second season on the European Tour. He's had quite a journey to get here. He was born in Johannesburg, but he's half English and has represented England as a junior. He studied in America at North Carolina State and then turned pro in 2003. After two wins on the Sunshine Tour in his native South Africa, he graduated from the Challenge Tour in 2012 to join Europe's elite. Yeah, I, I certainly would consider myself a bit of a journey, journeyman. I've, I've played pretty much everywhere around the world. So I really put my time in America on all the various mini tours. I did a year on the web.com and then uh, South Africa has always been my base. Um, I've grown most of my years around around Sunshine Tour and uh, it's helped me sharpen my teeth. So, yeah, I've put in my dues. I've travelled a long way and far and wide. So I think I'm uh, drawing all of, the, all of those experiences to help me excel at this level. Walters won the Challenge Tour's first Graduate of the Year award last month after his impressive debut season in Europe. It's a tour that's produced the likes of Martin Keimer and Thomas Bjorn, and Walters nearly quickly followed in their title-winning footsteps when he returned home to finish second at the Joburg Open in February. That earned him a spot at the Open, and he's looking forward to playing a major for the first time. I haven't played a whole bunch of uh, Lynx golf, but I certainly, if given a little bit of time to adapt, I'd, uh, I really grow to love it. I've played, uh, played the Palmer Cup for GB&I down in Dunberg in Ireland, and I've played a few uh, few other courses that require the Lynx Golf, and uh, I, I absolutely love the different feel it has, um, the difficulty of it, and the adjustments you have to go through. So, with a bit of preparation, I'm obviously going to relish the opportunity. And he has his sights firmly fixed on a place in the winners' circle in the not too distant future. I think when you try and make it happen, it doesn't. In my you know in my humble respect. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to keep trying to put myself in position. And then, you know, I have the ability and the talent to do it. So, you know, you've got to back yourself if you put yourself there enough times that you will do it. Um, but hopefully we do have a conversation sometime in the near future where <laughs> I can tell you, you know, what it did take to win. <laughs>